Hey guys, just look at this. Butter chicken, rich, silky, luxurious, delicious. It doesn't get much better. So put down the phone, forget about the takeout, and let's make some up. The first thing we're going to do here, guys, is grab up three boneless, skinless chicken breasts that I've cut into bite-sized chunks and put them into a bowl. And we'll follow this up with our seasoning, which is some curry, paprika, some garam masala, chili powder, coriander, and of course some salt and pepper. And this is about, oh, I'd say a teaspoon of each. And we'll just go ahead and dump that ever so aromatic seasoning over top of the chicken. Then a good old half a cup of plain yogurt. Grab up a lemon and cut it in half. And I am going to take my fancy dancy squeezer thing and just put that juice over top of the chicken. Now grab up your handy dandy mixing device and mix that chicken with that yogurt and seasoning and lemon. Oh my goodness, until it becomes so aromatic and completely coated. And doesn't this look wonderful, guys? And the smell is just incredible. Okay, next up I'm going to add two good knobs or about two tablespoons of butter to a pan over medium-high heat. Followed by about a tablespoon of olive oil, and this does stop the butter from burning. In with a small chopped onion. Then in with three teaspoons of minced garlic and three teaspoons of minced ginger. And of course, we'll just give everything a stir around here, and that aroma, my friends, just keeps getting better minute after minute after minute. And do you know what's going to happen if you open your front door? The neighbors are going to be standing there with plates. All right, you guessed it. Now it's time to go in with that chicken that we just mixed up and has been sitting there waiting for us. And just check out those colors. And we'll just go ahead and stir and cook this for about 8 or 10 minutes or so and have some fun until that chicken is completely cooked through. And this is looking so buttery and so good and dadgummit, the neighbors are at the window now peeking in. But we ain't done yet because we're going in with two tablespoons of tomato paste just to thicken things up. And 600 milliliters or 18 ounces of tomato sauce. Once again, we shall swirl and twirl until all those beautiful flavors and colors come together. Now everything has come together and we've done brought this to a boil. I'm just going to reduce the heat a little bit, slip a lid on, and allow this to simmer away for about 10 or 15 minutes. So, you know, read a book, play a game, have some fun, just be patient. I know it smells good. After about 10 minutes, we're going to pull that lid back off and go in with about three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. Of course, we're going to give this one more swirl and twirl, but just look at the color of this, guys. Just rich, vibrant, absolutely incredible. And you know what? This is butter chicken, so I am going back in with another tablespoon or two of butter and just swirl that around until that beautiful butter melts. Oh, oh wow. And just look at this, guys. Wonderful butter chicken. It doesn't get much better. And you know what? I think the neighbors have broken the windows. And you know what? I think I can make a movie. Night of the Living Butter Chicken Neighbors. And the great thing about this recipe, guys, is there is lots and lots of sauce there. And I'm going to serve this up with rice. And I like that sauce with my rice. It is just absolutely spectacular and sensational. Of course, we have to do our usual pretty up thing and garnish this up with some fresh cilantro. And there she be, guys, our easy butter chicken at home. Life does not get any better. And guys, you bite into this. It is everything I said in the beginning of the video. It is rich, creamy, luxurious, delicious. Oh, so good. Simply a must, must make. And as I always say, if you're hungry for more, like and subscribe.